everybody and welcome to another let's play by me Cassis clay right now we are live on twitch youtube and facebook all at the same time so if you do want to join me for any future or the current uh let's plays that's where i usually do them uh if you're watching the vod then a like or a subscribe would be helpful same thing with a follow on any of the platforms today we are checking out this game called the forgotten city it's on xbox game pass pc game pass and i think it's also on the other platforms as well it's been getting really good reviews uh it, i believe it is based off of a mod that was in skyrim that i i never played and by the way i sound a little sick right now that's because i am sick right now so bear with me uh i'm gonna try not to be like you know too gross in the mic so like just keep your distance from your screen a little bit so that way you know six feet but uh but yeah that's pretty much uh as much as i know about this game other than it's been getting good reviews uh just from the beginning right here we do have this little warning uh we're gonna be playing very early on into the game today but uh it is very story heavy it's an rpg uh so you'll see it but there, obviously, there, there's stuff that they they want the developers want you to experience yourself. If you're here watching this now, you might not be able to, and that's all right. But of course, spoilers, just in case for later on. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Game was developed by a core team of three people over four years. There are multiple endings. Okay. Thoughtful conversation and explorations, not brute force. Present day. So I literally just clicked new game and it, it throws us right into a new game. Uh, not really anything else. Yo, what's hey, up, living legend? How you doing? You're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, hey, I thought you were never awake. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I sure. found was some loose change. So, oh. wanna tell me who you are? Uh, who am I? Select your body type. I'm gonna guess that's the male and female. So I'm gonna go male, skin type, or spin, yeah, skin tone. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting some, uh, some of this stuff. Got that thing down I whispered to you about? Uh, I kind of don't, I mean, not, not off the top of my head, I don't remember too much. My player's name? I'm just gonna go Cassis. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to what, pry. Uh, when was it? Any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? I don't remember a single thing. I was searching for ancient runes. I was on a covert mission. I was on the run from the law. I barely, barely remember anything. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Oh wait. Huh. <laughs> I forgot to whisper you. All good, legend. Wait, it tells you. Uh, I was searching for an ancient ruin. Archaeologists, years of studying history, gives you occasional insights into the ancient world. They give you stats. Huh. I was on a covert mission. I was, uh, soldier, you have a military issued firearm, but only 10 bullets. Huh. I was on the run from the law, fugitive. Your time on the run from authorities has made you quick on your feet and you're 25% faster when sprinting and amnesiac. Your recent head trauma has you increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder to take down. I kind of like the uh, the ancient ruins one. Archaeologist, you'll you'll have more insight on the ancient world. Oh, select you're an that. Archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. Got baptized today. Hey, exactly congrats! What you're looking for, it's awesome. I hope that uh, there are some ruins just if, behind you. If that's uh, what you wanted to do, I need you congrats. to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured. Or worse, I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way oh. I'm leaving without him, so I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. 
I need... What I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him. If you can do that, I can get uh, both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Uh, we just met, and she's asking me to go find somebody. What if I ask some questions oh, first? Of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? Okay. Uh, what's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Yes, Legend, that's exactly what this game is, actually. It was a mod in Skyrim, and they turned it into a full game, and, er, into a full game. And they also, right before they officially started, they put out a um, description in the beginning that says that this was made by a team of literally three people over four years. Oh, so uh, I'd rather not say pretty cool so far. You. And I mean, just from looking at this, graphics look pretty damn good. So, so yeah, I'd really like to know, especially if I'm going to be helping you. Why don't you just tell me? Never mind. I don't care that much. All right. Sure. Fine. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Sorry if I sounded cagey. Deep, it's just that dig for some I don't information. I always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. <laughs> well, thank you for saving my nicest Karen I ever met. Uh, all those Karen memes have really ruined that name, huh? <laughs> I'm saying that. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, something like that. But right now, I have bigger problems. Wow. Like finding Al. Uh, who is He's Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But, but what if we do? Maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Uh, can you tell me about the not ruins? Not much, really. But imagine what you might so find One so far, him. but Elder Scrolls and Skyrim both have this problem. Artifacts. Al... Uh, all right. That's all, all right. the questions I have. So you're ready to go look for Al? I guess so. All right, I'm in. I'm going. Uh, I'm going in for the priceless artifacts, but I'll keep an eye out for him. Thank I'm in. You. The entrance is just. I mean, she saved me, you. so I might Please as well help her, hurry. right? Oh, and he left this here. They not but a I lot of facial expressions. Of yeah. <laughs> this game has that. Fallout has that. I'd say just about all the, um, uh, what's that other game that came out that's similar to, uh, all, uh, the space game, Outer Worlds, I think it was, Out and yeah, Outer Worlds, because I always get Outer Worlds mixed up with the Outer Wilds, uh, so Outer Worlds is the one that I'm thinking of. Okay, use WASD to move. Just checking some, uh, checking to see if we're lagging at all too. I think we're good, but I'm just making sure. I mean, can't really tell that much. Use that to raise your flashlight. Okay. The ruins are just beyond those columns. Please. Enter the ruins. I feel like our, our field of view is like really close. And also, I mean, I, I got a new monitor stand today, so I, I might look a little bit closer than usual. Uh, that's because I am a little bit, but now I can actually pull my monitor forward and back. So if I ever do a stream where I'm playing a game, like racing game, now that I have my little racing uh, set up, I can actually pull my monitor close enough for me to be able to see and drive rather than it, this monitor being like five feet further back. But that's besides this game. So right now I'm also playing this through uh, Xbox. All right, well, I'm playing it on PC, but Xbox, Xbox is 
uh, PC Game Pass. Um, it's not too badly priced regardless though. I mean, Xbox Game Pass or PC Game Pass is only 10 bucks. The game itself, I think, is actually uh, 19 right now on Steam. So there's Your also stale going on. It means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. His existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of his lost its existence okay. is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost. Oh. Except the Latin inscription here, it also it reads. The uh, audio dialogue is stopped. Except in the Latin inscription here, it reads. You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there against then the odds? Then made a gladiator flee seems there's only one way to find out if i'm not back in an hour i'm somewhere on the other side uh it's loading according to the screen here we go okay i saw this, some textures pop invitation or a warning. Al Worth. So you actually have to, when you read that message, you have to keep walking forward. Because otherwise, it'll just stop. And you won't hear anything. It was kind of weird. I figured it was going to play it all in the beginning. In a state of terror. All these people... They look like people that were turned into statues. It's most definitely a ruin. Roman woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. One Christmas gift I picked out was Metroid Dread. Nice. Heard very good things about that game. Hanging golden statue. Wearing modern clothing, this could this must be Al, but how is that possible? Inscribed tone st or stone tablet. Whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse. She'll suffer the same fate I did. Alright, that kind of scared me for a second. Place. <laughs> Hearing that sound around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death. Or that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Damn. But he turned to gold too. All right, let's find out. Why are you here? Uh, some lady named Karen asked me to come here. So I was like, all right. I guess this way. What happens if I go that way? Golden statue. Not much further. Step through the doorway into the past. Maids a hu human, whoever it was, died. All right, here we go.
Cycle between your flashlight and weapons with that. Bro wheel. <laughs> yeah, the portal did look pretty cool. See the objective markers for a given quest. Click the eye icon besides it. Beside it. Hold shift to sprint. Press tab for your quest, I think that said. Step through the doorway into the past. Forget me not. Hello, stranger. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Uh, I uh, cast this and I've come from the future. You're speaking, uh, let's ask him about the shrine. Yeah, you know, agricultural goddess of springtime. You're not from around here, are you? Obviously oh, not. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try, but I'll what? ask again. Who are you and what were you doing in the shrine? I asked him, what? Are you speaking English? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. And you've just done it again. You're a sly one, aren't you? One more time. Who are you and what were you doing in that shrine? Okay, I'm just going to tell him. Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? <sighs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. What's today's date? We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March. What year? It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the empire are you from exactly? Uh, so it's 65 CE. Ooh. Is before or after Christ? CE? No idea what you're talking about. Ooh, I but like how listen, we went with the archaeologist. A bit confused when they get here, but you, you seem very lost, and in more ways. Also, than gonna one. ask for Deathloop. So Deathloop has been getting very good reviews. Nice and simple for you. For most Live people. by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Not your laws. laws. Law. There's just one. The golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate <laughs> insists we take all newcomers kind to see him. Horrific. So I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Yeah, lead the way. Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see... Tap we've got E a nice to follow your guide. Now. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since... Uh, let me just check some settings real quick. Uh, do, 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 shadows. We can turn shadows down a little bit. Same thing with foliage, just to get a little bit. I'm seeing some, like, frame rates. Stuff. These things turned off. Uh, we'll leave that as is do you want to apply them yes nobody knows a way out but it's see just if that helps dark a little enough bit. to get lost in if you're not careful aren't you going to introduce me to your handsome new friend galerius keep it in your loincloth aurelia i'm taking him to see the magistrate looks busy that i should try talking to won't be magistrate for much longer. again later anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight uh politics wait do they not see the it and her if i were you she's uh it's not my place to say down on your right is our farm okay. where i grow all the food you'll ever want as long as all you want is leek cabbage and wheat huh that one usually gets a chuckle the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone ah don't mind livia she means well she's just been in a okay. bad place since well you know i don't know what happened to her 
Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing. There's so many us when we arrived, golden people. And what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the magistrate and the other patricians live. So don't expect a warm welcome. Delirious. You're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll you take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. All right. Greetings, citizen. Horatius. Horatius. Magistrate Gracious. Gracious. Follow me, please. All right, lead Follow the way. Me. Very well. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Uh, one sec. Let me just like floating, tiny bit. <laughs> so let me move that down. And I just want to check one thing. That should help a little bit. Okay. That should help too. And I think we're good. Okay. Yep. I just wanted to check that. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the Legion? the Legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw... Oh, if I tap E again, it, it follows him. Line. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the Collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. The magistrate can explain the rest. Who's up these stairs? Very well. Sir, I'm new. Magistrate Sentius. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? Sure. I'm Cassus. A curious name to match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of a man of great learning. Oh. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitea <coughs> will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. It is beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Uh, can't say I have. Nor could I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle, is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, mm. whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. 
from what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. Oh boy. <laughs> Tip, these questions will be available later. Uh, what counts as a sin here? An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes, or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, mm. blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the I peace see. of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper as Rome has for centuries. Makes sense to me. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. What is your... What is legal isn't always moral, and many of your laws and customs are considered barbaric where I'm from. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food oh, rations. Really? And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault, and rape, as well as theft and arson, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the the hubris to call us barbaric? Uh, don't your laws allow slave ownership? Don't your people watch blood sports for entertainment? Okay, now I was, after he said all that, I was like, hold up. That actually doesn't sound bad, but <laughs> now that we have these options, uh, of course, Say that. what else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. Hey, what about the blood Occasion. sport? But our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory, or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. I do not see the harm. Uh, okay. Yeah, but what were they condemned for? Hmm? About course, women. But with fewer rights come fewer responsibilities. And the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. Uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of Rome last year? <laughs> it's hard to blame the people for being angry about that. Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. 
We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. Damn, this guy's got the answer to everything. Abhorrent. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. Okay. <laughs> what did you mean when you said that, uh... Rise to, yeah. You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess Proserpina. of the life and renewal. That's what it was. It's said to open a doorway in time so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? Uh, how'd you know? Right, I'm from 2,000 years in the future. 2,000 years? That is unfathomable. Please, tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? I'm just checking some audio stuff. It all been turned into golden statues. I have imagined it, our downfall, a thousand times. But it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. Uh, do, do you have any subs suspects? To, uh, how does the ritual work? All I can tell you is that it's That's a, a good question. sacrifice to preserve. How does it work? I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I uh, saw human remains in the temple. Ah. I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? Do my well, best. I suppose that's all I can ask for. Uh, do you have any suspects? Do you stare at a problem for so long? that you can't see it for what it is anymore. Yes. What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. Every time I do math. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. If I do this, will you help me get back to my own if time? I understand Proserpina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. Explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? Uh, sure. It's all the oh, questions. Okay. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? I'll do my best. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city. Talk to everyone. Help them, if it will win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out okay. who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. Ouch. All right. I guess I'll get started. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, 
I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Find out what's distressing. Uh, this will prioritize the new quest showing its objective on map. All right, I'll get a, I'll get right on it. Okay, so basically he brought us here. Press tap to check your quest log and inventory at any time. See the objective marker for a given quest. Click the eye icon beside it. Weeds, main goals. So I'm guessing that's what our objective is, but you need, probably need a lead to be able to get to it. So dying gasp is our first thing. Uh, since we're right here, we might as well try looking to see if there's any documents. A note from Centila. Uh, since you feeling apprehensive about the election. Okay. Oh. Chest. Oh, we could steal. Denarius? Is that what it was? Denarius? Yeah. Like, uh, Alexios. Ugh, this place has become a thoroughfare. Yeah? Ugh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Whoa, I'm not a barbarian. What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. Whoa, this what isn't a bathtub. And why are you I mean, this like isn't that? a beach. This is a bathtub. Not from around here. Really? I'd never I'm exotic. What with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? Because... What do you think about the Golden Rule? You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Uh, fair question. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. That was reckless. Well, at least we know the blasphemy doesn't break the golden rule. I'm telling you, this mysterious <laughs> god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. Hmm, I suppose we will. I trust you can see yourself out. Yes, I can. Okay, well, she wasn't a whole lot of help, but that's all right. The environment for this uh, this world is, is very cool so far. Ceramic bowl. Ceramic bowl full of urine, <laughs> which ancient Romans used because it's ammonia content to wash and bleach their clothing. Wait, really? Ammonia content? They would dip their clothing in Urine? Ave. 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 <clears throat> what happens if I run up to this? Cent Centius and Malvius. Same excrement, different smell. Same shit, different smell. That's funny. Who are you? What were you two talking about? Uh, who? Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. What's he offering you? Money? Favors? What's your vote worth to him? Oh, he wasn't trying to buy my vote. What? You're throwing your lot in with him for free then? That's even worse. 
Mark my words, Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. And if I tell him you've sided with that feeble old has-been, that you've been trying to undermine his hard-won victory, you'll have picked the wrong patron. Got it? I didn't do anything. I don't want any trouble. I don't care about the election. I wasn't thinking of interfering, but now I am. I don't care Good. about the election. Then stay out of it. Nobody likes Caput Murday foreigners interfering in an election. Why is Caput Murday gray? What if I ask some questions? Uh, can't hurt. <laughs> okay. What's the your story? Domitius. You want to get to Domitius. Maliolus, you go through me. I'd like to meet Malios. Too bad. <laughs> He's busy. Unless. Of course. No. You don't look like you could afford it. What's that? Or what? I'm glad you asked. See, he's a busy man, and this is an important day. He'll be inside practicing his victory speech for tonight. Left me strict instructions he doesn't want to be disturbed. So if you want to see him, I'll need something valuable in return. Figure out how to get into Malleus's villa. What do you want? I don't know. Something good. Uh, isn't solicitating bribes a sin? Bribe? That's such an ugly word. <laughs> what I'm looking for is more Tell of a, a you suspect. tribute to me, your soon-to-be patron. See what I can do? Just make it good. What do you think I about think the golden rule? I think it's gone on long enough, and Maliolus is going to put an end to it once he's elected. <laughs> Sounds great. Can I help in some way? How's he going to do that? He's going to announce it in his victory speech. Just you wait and see. Why can't you tell me now? Because if I tell you and it gets out, it'll give old man Sentius a chance to interfere in our plans. And we can't have that. Can I help We've in some way? we lined up the votes he needs to win. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. Who are you going Mariolis, to vote for? of course. If old man <laughs> Sentius can't even protect his own daughter, how can we trust him to protect us? Whatever. Right. Just remember. I'll be watching. Always watching. Okay, so... Locked Villa, Domit Domitius, Domitius has denied me access to the villa. I'll need to get creative if I want to get inside. I'm going to go to Dying Gasp first. Oh, that yeah. is proof of a degenerate mind. Let me talk to him again. Well, now. Uh, what's your I'm story? I'm a legionary of the first Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I figured. I act as the magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. How'd you end up I'm here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up, but when it was all over, not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some Genetricum Fugitio tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river, and then nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. Same. But I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Okay. Sorry oh, to hear that. Be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind what? as labor does the body. That said, Centilla's disappearance has know. been more difficult than I'd care to know. Yeah. I was curious. Hello.
What can you tell about the magistrate? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had. That's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. Can I see the citizen I register? See why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. It's fair enough. Okay, cool. Claims to wait, Aurelia? Claims to know a way out. Tavern and slum. Imprisoned in warehouse. Died in cistern. Disappeared. Now refuses to work. Not to be trusted. Money lending. Locked herself in palace. Increasingly agitated. Missing. Uh, okay. That just shows all of them. Okay. Take item. Thank you. Of course. You know our I way out of here? Asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept to bear trials with a calm. What do you well, think about the golden rule? As I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother in arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like Hundred Eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Makes us all it's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. You're saying you're in favor of it? Where I'm from, that would be considered collective punishment, which is a war crime. A war crime? Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war, the law falls silent. <laughs> Worlds are very different. Seems that way. War crimes. <laughs> Saying you're in favor of it? What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, Thanks. and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh, and I've got to accept my lot. As with the golden rule. I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca... Okay, let's talk if about something like else. Uh, who are you going to vote for? any of your business. But my loyalty is... Unfortunately... But I figured. I don't think my vote is going to... See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies. Bro the man sent us this... I appreciate the thought, but you're new here, and I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time but, between now and the election this afternoon. In any case, come on. if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. Oh, the lady disappeared. Uh, hold on for one second, chat. I'm gonna take a quick break, real quick. I'm just gonna put it on BRB.